Hello friends, I welcome you on this tutorial video. In this video, we are going to know about what are geometric means and how to insert geometric means between any two given number and some problems based on this theory. So, let's start. Now, let A and B are two given numbers and if N numbers that are G1, G2, G3 up till Gn are inserted between A and B such that this sequence will become a GP then all such numbers which are inserted between A and B are known as geometric means between geometric means between A and B okay if you have inserted n geometric means between a and b then the total number of terms in this sequence would be equals to n plus 2 okay this g1 g2 g3 up to gn will be the geometric means between a and b now we are looking for a method for how we are going to insert this geometric means between any two given numbers now we have to insert n um, numbers between a and b such that this sequence will become a geometric progression now the total number of terms in this would be equals to n plus 2 and b is the last term of this sequence okay if this is in gp so b can be written as b equals to a that is first term into r to the power n plus 2 minus 1 okay r is the common ratio of this resulting gp okay so from this equation we can very well able to calculate the common difference so so r would be equals to b by a r to the power n plus 1 equals to b by a and r would be equals to b by a whole to the power 1 by n plus 1 okay so this was the common ratio of this gp now g1 would be equals to ar g2 would be equals to ar square and gn would be equals to a r to the power n okay now for solving questions that are based on insertion of geometric means between two numbers first you have going first that you are going to find is the common ratio once you have find the common ratio then put the common ratio in this equation for finding the resulting terms of this geometric progression okay so let's do a problem based on insertion of geometric means between the two numbers now in this problem you have to insert five geometric means between 576 and 9 so first you are going to find the common ratio of the resulting geometric progression okay which will we are going to find by using this formula so the common ratio would be equals to b by a whole to the power 1 by n plus 1 here n is equals to 5 a is equals to 576 and b is equals to 9 so r would be equals to 9 by 576 whole to the power 1 by 5 plus 1 that is 1 by 6 okay if we simplify this this will become 9 1 za 9 64 za so this will become 1 by 64 and 1 by 64 can be written as 1 by 2 to the power 6 okay so this will become 1 by 2 whole to the power 6 and this will become 
वन बाय टू टू द पावर सिक्स इंटू वन बाय सिक्स सिक्स एंड सिक्स गेट कैंसल एंड द कॉमन रेशो दैट वी हैव गेटिंग इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाय टू नाउ द फर्स्ट ज्योमेट्रिक मीन जी वन इज इक्वल्स टू ए आर दैट इज फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स इंटू वन बाय टू दैट इज इक्वल्स टू टू एटी एट The second geometric means is equals to a r square. That is five seventy six into one by four. That is equals to one forty four. The third geometric mean g three would be equals to a r cube. That is five seventy six into one by eight. That will be equal to seventy two. G four would be equals to a r to the power four equals to five seventy six into one by sixteen. That will be equals to thirty six. And G five would be equals to a r to the power five. That is five seventy six into one by thirty two. That will be equals to eighty. Okay, so. Two eighty eight, one forty four, seventy two, thirty six, and eighteen are the geometry mean between five seventy six and nine. Two eighty eight, one forty four, seventy two, thirty six, and eighteen. Okay. These are five geometric means between five seventy six and Nine. Okay, so this was a small problem that was based uh, on insertion of geometric means between the given two number. One more property that we are going to discuss about geometric means is a. Uh, like if you are going to insert a single geometric means between two number, okay, then the common ratio would be same because this will be form a GP. And we will get here that g square will be equals to a into b, or g square equals to under root of a b. Now, if we going to insert n numbers between a and b, then these numbers would be the geometric means between a and b. And if we found the product of all the geometric means, product of all geometric mean, mean. Okay, so now we are going to find the product of all geometric means that is g one into g two into g three up till g n that will be equals to we know that g one is equals to a r g two is equals to a r square and g n would be equals to a r to the power n so here we are got thing here. G one a r into a r square into a r cube up till a r to the power n. So this will become a to the power n and r to the power one plus two plus three plus up till n. This is the sum of n rational number which will be equals to n into n plus one by two, n plus of r we are writing here b by a whole to the power one by n plus one, so b by a whole to the power one by n plus one. Sorry. So this n plus one and this n plus one will will get cancelled, and we are left only with n by two. From here, if we separate this a to the power n by two, then it will become a to the power n upon a to the power n by two, and we can write this as a to the power n by two into b to the power n by two, which means a into b whole to the power n by two, which is under root of A into b whole to the power n. So, what is the conclusion of this? The product of all the geometric means between 
a and b is equals to the nth power of the single geometric mean okay the product of n geometric mean between a and b will be equals to nth power of single geometric mean okay on what is the value of single geometric mean it is under root of a b okay i hope that this video will be helpful for you all and if you are new don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much